One of the most common performance questions we get with respect to Google Cloud Storage is related to what type of bucket should I use for the best performance? Which is a really good question. When you create a new GCS bucket, one of the first things you need to do is decide what type of storage class it has. And while the text there is descriptive, there's not a lot of room to discuss all the performance nuances. Uh, generally, these classes can be broken into two categories. Nearline and codeline are built for content which is accessed infrequently, and thus latency shouldn't really be considered when fetching from them. Uh, regional and multi-regional, however, are expected to serve data as fast as possible. Uh, so, what do those terms actually mean, though? Well, a regional GCS bucket guarantees that all the data in that bucket lies in a specified region, which you determine when you create the bucket. This type of location is really important in situations where you know where your client or on-prem systems are located, and you want to get your GCS buckets as close to those systems as possible. Multi-regional storage, on the other hand, guarantees two replicas of your data which are geodiverse, about 100 miles apart or so. This results in the data being moved between regions for better latency and availability. More importantly is that multi-regional heavily leverages edge caching and CDNs to provide content to the end users as fast as possible. To understand how these systems respond under stress, we set up a simple test. Upload a two megabyte file to a bunch of regional and multi-regional buckets and fetch that asset with caching disabled from a VM in US West 1. First, there's a couple of things that we can discern from this data. For fetches in the same region or in a sub-region of the multi-region, performance is pretty on par. However, once we get across oceans, we can see that the multi-regional buckets tend to perform better. The reason for this is that their data was duplicated to a region of the multi-region, which provides better access point and lower latency to our fetching client. What these tests show us is that there's no really specific performance different of the classifications of the buckets themselves, rather the performance is dominated by the latency of physics of the distance between the client and the cloud storage bucket. However, to be clear, with caching on, your read performance for both regional and multi-regional should look something like this. So if caching is on, Google's powerful CDN can help improve your read performance regardless of the bucket. But if caching is off, then it's best to pick a class that puts your content as close to your endpoints as possible. To learn more about the perf details of these buckets, check out the article linked in the description below. And don't forget to check out the rest of our Cloud Performance Atlas content, because when it comes to performance, every millisecond counts.